Okay, so now we know, right? Tesla has supply contracts with who? CATL, I believe, Goshen High Tech, BYD, Panasonic. They make their own batteries. They even get batteries as well from LG Chem. In addition to Samsung STI, so that's contracts with six battery manufacturers. They're making their own. They still can't get enough batteries. And now they're even begging Panasonic to ramp production of 4680 cells. What does that tell you? about how legacy auto manufacturers are really gonna go with getting enough batteries over the next half a decade. Well, it might not play out quite the way that people think. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. Great to see you. Tesla have asked Panasonic to speed up development of its 4680 battery cell, which is gonna be powering its next generation electric vehicles. Bit of a problem. Right, um, Panasonic haven't even found a factory yet or a location for one. They're actually right now looking for a location for their factory. Back in 2020, Tesla unveiled the 4680 battery cell, which is a new tabless battery cell in a bigger format with a new chemistry, enabling a cheaper or longer range EV. Now, if you wanna buy a 4680 cell, if you're interested to see what they look like, how big they actually are, you can buy one right now on eBay. No. Sorry, it's not the real thing. It's like a replica of the current 4680 battery cell. It's kind of like a little thing you can put in your desk and show it off. Kind of interesting though. I'll put a link in the description below to the listing on eBay. So the 4680 battery cell was meant to be revolution. It's a new tabless battery cell that comes in a bigger format with new chemistry, which will enable cheaper and longer range vehicles. And more importantly, in my view, lighter weight vehicles. So much to the haters' uh, extreme disappointment because they said it would be vaporware and that batteries would never exist. Believe it or not, I'm still seeing these comments lately. <laughs> Amazing. The cells have already made it to the Tesla Model Y, being produced at the Gigafactory in Texas. For the first time, Tesla is using its own cells, not just its own chemistry, to support its EV production. However, yeah, it's going pretty slow. Tesla needs so many cells that it is also partnering with current battery suppliers to deploy their own production of the new 4680 cell. I believe CATL is actually working on producing these cells for Tesla as well as Panasonic. And today, Tesla just announced you can now buy, right? You can now buy a semi. If you put down a reservation of 20,000 US dollars, you can get the base model for 150,000 or the top spec model for 180,000. Tesla need what for that truck, right? They need 4680 battery cells. To give this truck an 800 kilometer range, well, you need a lot of batteries. Same day, Elon Musk is interviewed about the Cybertruck. He says that the company has pre-orders for more than three years of production. Now, some people claim that Tesla actually has three million pre-orders for the Cybertruck. I don't know if that's true. Whatever the case, even if they only have the 1.35 million orders that I'm aware of, then that's still a lot of batteries. So Panasonic has announced that it will be deploying a prototype production line for the new 4680 cell. After they announced this news, Panasonic's CEO, Yuki Kasumi, said that it prepared to make a large investment in producing Tesla's new battery cell if test production proves to be successful. And in October of 2021, Panasonic unveiled its own 4680 cell that they developed with Tesla. Later, Panasonic greenlit a 700 million investment to produce the 4680 cell in Japan. And it has been rumored to be looking for a location for a new factory in the US to produce these cells. Hirokazu Umeda, Panasonic's chief financial officer, said that Tesla has been pushing for a faster development of the 4680 cell. We can't say more than what has been released, but we are getting many requests. We are seeing continued strong demand from Tesla for, for 2170 batteries, but also for faster development of the 4680. Tesla is saying, come on, hurry up. Tesla is currently deploying 4680 production capacity at Gigafactory Texas and Berlin, where it plans to build the battery cells by itself as well. And it doesn't anticipate a battery cell shortage to support its production until next year when it starts production of the Cybertruck. Now, as I mentioned before, there's a lot of Cybertrucks that people are waiting for. I'm waiting for one. You might be waiting for one. The average Cybertruck is gonna be using a lot of batteries. I'm gonna guess the average Cybertruck will have 150 kilowatt hours of batteries. That's a battery pack that's probably around twice, if not a bit more than twice the size of the average electric car. And around double or a little bit more versus the current average battery pack sizes in the 
Tesla Model 3 and the Model Y, which are its most popular cars, of course. So the Cybertruck is going to enormously increase Tesla's need for battery cells, and it will rely on both internal production and production from suppliers establishing 4680 cell capacity, like Panasonic, CATL, and potentially other car companies, which I believe Goshon High Tech is one of them. In my view, the current number of battery cells being produced by Tesla is, I think, number one reason a delay, a holdup on the Tesla Semi and the Cybertruck, and even production currently of Model Y, Model 3, Model X, and Model S is simply battery capacity. I think Tesla is battery constrained. I know they're not saying they are, I think they are. I think it's pretty obvious that that's what's going on right now. In addition, remember, Tesla will definitely make a low-cost car. There's absolutely no doubt about it. For Tesla to be able to produce 10 to 20 million vehicles per year, they have to have a lower-cost car. It's just simply the only possibility. Therefore, they're going to need enormous amounts of batteries to produce these millions of low-cost cars they'll be producing. I mean, Tesla is saying their high-end goal for 2030 is to be able to produce 20 million electric cars. How many of those do you think are going to be cars that cost more than 40,000 US dollars? Well, maybe 60% of them? Possible. Unlikely, but possible. Those other 40% would have to be a lower-cost car. That car would need what? Battery cells. I'm going to go with LFP. I think Tesla is probably going to ramp up production with its partners of LFP batteries more so than the 4680 battery cell. Believe it or not, that's my prediction. Let me know if you agree with me in the comment section below. And as ever, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. <music>